Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this one is the January 2017 Horror Block. Um, this is it. This is going to be my last Horror Block for now. Um, I have not totally closed the door on going back to Horror Block at some point in the future, but I've had some issues recently, customer service related. Uh, I don't really like how the company's been running, so... Um, it's too much of a headache at this point for me to even deal with this company right now. So I'm stopping. I let the customer service representative know. I will, if I hear that things are getting better, maybe I will come back in the future. I don't know. But right now I'm preferring other boxes. Uh, you know, I just signed up for Box of Dread, which I did my first unboxing recently. And I'm still with the BAM box, which I love and is great. So let me give you the background on why I'm leaving this, because I said during my Box of Dread unboxing that I would tell you the, the deal with this. So if you watched, um, I'm going to reference some past videos, so go back and watch them and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, so my horror block for November, I believe it was, for November 2016 horror block, uh, I had the issue where I had the uh, shirt that was supposed to be in there was not in there, in fact. And I contacted them and they were like, well, we sent you two shirts to make up for it from Shirt Punch but those shirts had absolutely nothing to do with horror, and the reason I get horror block is for the horror. So I was like, that doesn't solve this. What you really should have done is call me, email me something, and ask me, is it okay if we send you two totally unrelated shirts? Or what ended up happening in the end, which was a good move, was they gave me credit for Shirt Punch website, which is their sister company that does all their shirts, and said, here's the credit to cover the cost of any shirt and shipping. Pick any horror shirt from there that you want, and it's yours, you know, to make up for it. So I, in, I did end up getting three shirts out of this whole thing when I was only supposed to get one initially, but that's on them, and that's just bad business, in my opinion. You should have done it right the first time. Just contact the customer. It's not hard. It would have cost you less in this instance, and it would have cost me a lot of frustration. Actually, both of us. It would have cost everyone a lot of frustration. So the other thing is keep your keep your shirts stocked properly. I know other people had problems with that month, so it's just crazy. I don't know. So anyway, so I picked out a shirt. It was a really cool shirt. You can I don't know if it's still on the site, but you can go look. It was basically a Jack Skellington and Freddy Krueger mashup, which looked really good. I mean, it's an excellent shirt. They make very quality shirts. So it was a really nice shirt. I was excited about it. It had been a while, and I was just like, what is going on? I think it had been like three weeks or so, and I contacted their customer service and was like, hey, I'm waiting on this one shirt that I ordered like three weeks ago. What's the deal? And they were like, well, we're we're kind of behind on, on it, and it should ship out within the next bunch of weeks. So, long story short, I didn't get my shirt until six weeks after I ordered it. A month and a half to get one t-shirt. That is unacceptable. That is more than unacceptable coming from a company, especially a big company like NerdBlock, especially when NerdBlock has been calling out other companies, namely Bambox for their bad November box, and then they have all these problems. So I have a problem when you call somebody else out and then you go and basically screw me over numerous times. I mean, it's just not good. So Long story short, I did get the shirt. I finally got the shirt, actually, just the other day. But six weeks. Six fucking weeks! Who is going to wait six goddamn weeks for one t-shirt? I can order from any other company, and I'm going to get that shirt within a week. You know, it's going to ship within 24 to 48 hours, most likely. Ridiculous. Insane. They need to get their shit together. But... That said, the customer service rep that I dealt with about that was very nice because I checked back in with them and was like, still not here, what the hell? Um, they ended up giving me some credit uh, towards Shirt Punch for some more items, um, which, by the way, like they were like, we're going to give you 100,000 Shirt Punch points. And I was like, okay, I mean, that sounds good. And then, they, and then I kind of complained a little bit more, and they were like, well, we'll give you another 100,000. We're going to give you 200,000 for your troubles. I was like, that's really nice. And then I looked into the conversion rate. <laughs> it's so deceptive. 200,000 shirt punch points is $10. Each 100,000 points is $5. And a lot of the times in these boxes, they include, for nothing, 
little cards that are worth ten dollars. So you really didn't do that much for me. Uh, you know, I mean, I appreciate it, but I don't appreciate it because it's kind of deceptive. I don't know. So I just, I don't want to deal with the headaches anymore. I'm done, done, done with the Nerd Block Company for now. Done. I, I mean, I wish them luck. I hope they rebound. And, you know, if you are still having nothing but great times with Nerd Block, more power to you because this kind of stuff doesn't happen to everyone, obviously. But for me, it seems like I'm getting all of it and it's sucking. So I'm, <laughs> I just can't do it anymore. But I wish them well. And for that reason, I'm not all that excited for this box because it's my last one and I'm kind of done with the company. But I do hope that it's good because, you know, I bought it. I want it to be good. I want to have cool stuff. So the items for this one that were promised were something from My Bloody Valentine, which I don't know if that's going to be the remake that was in 3D, which I did see in the theater, or the original, which unfortunately I have not seen yet. I know bad on me. I should have. Um, but I will at some point. So I don't know which one of those. And then Resident Evil, because it makes sense. There's a new Resident Evil movie out. And then uh, Silence of the Lambs, yes. So I'm really hoping the Silence of the Lambs item is really, really good. Preferably maybe the t-shirt, that'd be great. But regardless, um, hope there's good stuff. And I think they said four or five of the things should be exclusive, so, you know, hopefully they're good exclusives. Oh, there's something big in here. Feels like it might be a mug, which if it's a cool mug, I'm down, but it might not even be. We'll find out. What is this? This is, I don't even know what this is. Uh, is this like a reference to the mummy, I guess? It looks like it's a reference to the mummy. I mean, it's okay. Why does he have extra, his extra, extra pupils? I guess I'm just not getting the reference to it. It's okay. It's okay. It just seems kind of nondescript. And this shirt smells really weird. I mean, it'll come out with a wash, but like the one that I got, the Jack Skellington Freddy Krueger mashup one, smelled like Elmer's glue when I got it, which was really weird. Some odd smells coming from that company right now. Um, I don't know. I'm not huge on this shirt. Like, some people might really like it. I just, I don't know. It seems kind of nondescript to me. I'm not, I'm not a fan, really. Yeah. Next. Oh, is this a beanie? It's a beanie. Silence of the Lambs Beanie. <laughs> not, not anything I would have thought would actually, I don't know. I would have never thought this would be the Silence of the Lambs item, a Silence of the Lambs Beanie. Um, I'm kind of cool with that. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I mean, it is cold at the moment outside, and uh, I like Silence of the Lambs. This is kind of, this is an outside of the box, no pun intended, uh, idea to put, you know, Silence of the Lambs on a beanie. I like it. Um, the patch looks okay. Actually, it looks a little, looks a little blurry, but the quality feels good. So eh, it's fine. It's cool. I'll, I'll I'll wear this. I'll rock it. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm okay. The shirt, not so much. Let me go with this big item because it's kind of in the way. Oh, okay. Are these shot glasses maybe? Let's see if we can pop this. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, maybe it's a glass. A mug. It is. It's a glass. It's a glass of sorts. That's cool. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Um, this is like one of those, like, I'm going to put this down here. One of those, like, jar, um, mason jar type uh, glasses. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. It just says poison on it, which is cool. I mean, the logo looks good. You can even put just put this out for display for, like, Halloween or something. That would work for that. You could drink out of it, whatever you want. I don't have any horror-themed glasses, so it's actually kind of cool to get something like this. Um, I like it. It's pretty cool. Established 1915. Poison. That's cool. That's cool. There's really nothing wrong with that one. I'm all right with that. Next item is Resident Evil Stars Badge Diecast Replica. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, okay. So I guess it's a badge for stars, which I'm not really big on. I'm not really up to date so much on my Resident Evil. I saw the first one or two movies, 
and then I quit after that. But basically, it's the Raccoon Police Department uh, badge, and it is metal. It's kind of, you know, it's magnetic too, apparently. So you could just put it on your, um, put it on my fridge or something. It's okay. It's not bad. Here, make sure you can see it okay. There you go. Stars, Raccoon City, Raccoon Pol Police Department. What does it say down here? Special Tactics and Rescue Service. You can see that. Or if it's just, a, no, it looks like it's probably just straight up blurry. But trust me, that's what it says. Um, that's interesting. I mean, it's a magnet. That's kind of cool. People could really be into magnets. I know some people who really are, so that's not a bad item. Next item is a pin. Okay, come on. Why haven't you been doing more pins up until now? Holy shit. Like, I love pins. You know, if anyone's watched my unboxings for uh, Bambox, you know, I, that's one of the things I look forward to. I like really nice pins. And this is a nicely done pin. It's like a nice enamel, although it is scratched on the front. Yeah, it's scratched on the front, which is really shitty. Um, scratch isn't too, too bad, but it's Amity Island Swim Club, so obviously a Jaws reference. Check that. I'm sorry, my hands are kind of shaky. I have a central tremor, but Amity Island Swim Club, that's cool. See, that's nice, and it's got, like, the buoy in there, and what else is? Oh, it's like a shark fin, but I don't know. It looks a little weird around the water line. You see what I mean? Like right here, it looks like there's a bit of a shark fin, but then there's something like a sock hanging off the end. I don't know, it's kind of weird. That's a uh, eh. cool concept, though. The fact that it says Amity Island Swim Club has got the buoy in it. That's nice. I like that. That's cool. First time they've done a pin. There are a lot of items in here, actually. Next one Camp Crystal Lake Pine Scented Air Freshener. I don't really have any use for anything like this. Uh, I can give it to someone I work with. I mean, the design on it looks really cool, gotta be honest. Like, that's a pretty dope design. Let's see if I can... Yeah, you see it. Um, I'll give this to someone else. I like the design. It's a really cool design. Someone really like having this, but I mean, an air freshener, it's kind of like, eh, Not too bad, though. It's all right. Next. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, my God! Yes! Oh, okay, this this makes me happy. Thank you, Horror Block. I was really hoping for this because they usually have Rue Morgue in it, and I was like, oh my god, I really hope they give me one of the special Rue Morgue books, especially the most recent one that they released because I'm a huge, pan, fan, uh, huge, pan, huge fan of the movie Phantasm. Phantasm 1 and 2. I'm down with 3 and 4. I haven't seen 5 yet. But Phantasm 1 and 2, love it. Love the tall man, Angus Scrim, R.I.P. Um, so they put out a film companion for Phantasm, which uh, for me is just... I saw this item and I was like, I don't want to have to purchase this because I think it's like 15 bucks or something. Um, and I was kind of like, oh God, it could be in my last horror block, but I'm not sure. It probably won't be. Because uh, they could have gone with just the... Um, the January February issue of Rue Morgan put that in, but this, oh, that, yeah, it is. It's fourteen ninety five, so it's fifteen bucks. <sighs> okay, I have to say thank you to Horror Block, well, to Nerd Block Company on this one, because I really, really, really wanted this, and that, <sighs> that's nice. That makes me feel a little bit of a warm and fuzzy for Nerd Block right now. I mean, thank you. That's great. I'm very happy about that. That should probably be it. Oh. And then there's a, uh, the My Bloody Valentine item is just a, oh, it's by Butcho Vision, but it's a card. It just looks like a postcard. Oh, I guess it's, aha, uh -huh, just in time for Valentine's Day, which is pretty clever and cool. Um, the design looks great. Um, I'll keep it. I might actually just, like, display it, like, put it up on a, on a wall in my basement where I have a bunch of my other horror stuff, but... The design's awesome. Butcher, Butcher Vision does some really cool stuff. He had done some pins for a BAM box for their October box. Really nice. Um, he just does great stuff. I know he has a website too. Check it out. It's really cool stuff. This was a good idea, but I don't think that they should have actually um, put uh, My Bloody Valentine out there as like one of the ones they were hyping because it's just a 
postcard. You know, like, that's not a huge item to, like, hype. So, I don't know. You could have more done more hyping, you know, Jaws, basically. Oh, although this might not be a licensed item. Ha, ha, ha. That's probably why. Mm-hmm. So, they may not have been able to for that reason. Okay, I think that should be it. Oh, they started doing this. Ah, okay. I'll look through this in a second, but... Yes. Okay, so I got my... I got my $10 uh, shirt punch credit, which I was really hoping they would give me in this box because I saw something on the store that I really want to get, which is the uh, Pinhead from Hellraiser uh, Funko Pop. And I went to buy it with my $10 credit, but with shipping, I would have to actually have to pay something. So I was like, I'm going to wait until I get my last horror block and see if I get one of these, and then I won't have to pay anything. That's what I'm doing. Ha! Thank you. <laughs> So, I find this kind of tacky, uh, the fact that they are now doing these little booklets, uh, just like Bambox does, exactly like Bambox does, pretty much. Um, so I find it tacky for that reason, because they were talking a lot of shit about Bambox, and then they go and do something like this, and rip them off. So, but it looks like they actually have some more information in, in here, like, they have Freddy Krueger's Most Creative Kills which is a cool idea. That's cool, so it's like kind of like a mini article. What else do they have in here? They have a Q&A with someone. Um, they explain all the items in here. Yeah, the shirt is a mummy shirt. Uh, Rumor Phantasm book. Yeah, everything. Everything was the same. Um, yeah. Da -da -da, items, items. Do -do 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 -do. And then... They have something about Marvel versus DC in the back. Or in the back, if you like that, you're into that kind of stuff. And yeah, what is this nerd of the year? Nerd Block is declaring 2017 nerd of the year. Okay. Okay. So, um, hmm, kind of biting off Bam Box by putting all that in here. Uh, actually, it's kind of more like Loot Crate, I guess, because Loot Crate does this and they have actual additional art articles. But you know. I don't know. So, <clears throat> recap. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, this is cool because of what it's going to mean for me. That's cool, but eh, as an item, eh, I don't know. And I think they kind of like shouldn't have hyped this. I don't know. But but Butcher Vision does a good job. That's fucking awesome, amazing, incredible for me personally. Uh, this is kind of a whatever item, but it's designed well, and I can probably give it to someone. Uh, this is a little bit of like a whatever as well, but at the, for me, but someone might like it. it uh, it's a decent concept. This, I was totally not expecting, came out of left field, but kind of cool. I'm okay with it. And this, um, don't like, really. Really don't like it. It's just meh. But overall, I am happy, quite happy, actually, with my final uh, horror block. I am glad that it went out on a high note, which means I will be more apt to really pay attention in the, in the future, give it a bunch of months, maybe a year or so, listen to what people are saying about their customer service and how things are running. And then maybe at some point I might go back, but I don't think I would go back as a continual subscriber. Maybe it'd be like, oh, I'll do this one, and then I'll drop off, and then I'll do another one, based off what they're hyping to be their items. So, you know, um, but thank you, NerdBlock, for this good one. I'm very happy I went out on a high note. The last few, I felt like we're not all that great. So this is a pretty decent turnaround, in my opinion. So hopefully it stays like this for everyone who's still subscribing. I'm out. Uh, I will still be doing Bam Box, though, and Box of Dread. And also, uh, a little teaser for people, if you know what big old box of stuff is, or as people refer to it, Bobos, I ordered a Bobos in like early to mid November. So that's supposed to be on its way. They're just behind and you know, it's a really small company. It's just a family who does it. So it's really not, it's not their fault. They're just behind, but that'll be fun. That'll come up at some point. But at any rate, thank you everyone for checking out this unboxing. I really appreciate it. That's it for horror block for me for now. But let me know if there are any other boxes out there you think I should check out. But until then, it's Bam Box and it's Box of Dread. Hopefully Box of Dread can stick around because I heard they're having financial problems, but please stick around. But thank you everyone for checking this out, and 
as always, keep it brutal.